Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I am going to create this soft, cool toned bridal eye makeup look. And I'll be playing with a new palette, which is by Hindash. It's called the Beautopsy palette. And I cannot wait for you guys to see how I created this. Now, before I go in with any eyeshadow, I am first going to prime the eyelids and I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot. And I'm using it in the color Soft Ochre. So I'm applying this all over the eyelid to make sure that all the redness is gone. And here you can see the palette by Hindash. Um, I was so excited to play with this palette. I actually received it a few weeks ago, but I was so busy filming other content that I didn't have time to play with it. But today was finally the day. So I have to be honest, when I started filming, I had no idea what I was going for. Uh, but I ended up doing a cool tone makeup look, uh, which is nice because Overall, I tend to do a lot of warm toned looks on my channel, so it's nice to do some cool tones as well. So first I use the light shade underneath the brow and then I use that light, more kind of like yellow toned shade to set my whole eyelid in place. And then I used a mixture of that gray shade together with the color 10 and blend both of these shades together and blend it into my crease area. The brush that I'm using is a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to sweep my brush back and forth and focus like straight in the crease area. So I just go in a few more times with the combination of the two eyeshadows that I used to kind of like build up the color pigmentation. What I noticed with the eyeshadows is that they're really soft. They have almost no fallout, which is really nice. But you have to go in a few times to like really build up the color pigmentation, which I personally really like because um, I like to build up my color anyway. So the fact that it's really soft, easy to blend and has no fallout, I think is really great. I always do my eyes before doing my face. So if I do have some fallout, it doesn't really matter, but it's definitely a con in my opinion. So now I'm going in with some concealer. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 using a Sigma Beauty E25 brush and kind of like packing this on the eyelid. So I wanted to make my eyelid a little bit lighter to kind of create contrast um, next to that darker shade into my crease area. So I realized I might have it would have maybe been better to not set my whole eyelid at the beginning with eyeshadow because sometimes when I apply like a concealer on top of eyeshadow, it starts creasing, um, which I noticed at the end, but it doesn't really matter anyway. So now I use that super light color that comes in a palette and apply that over all the places where I use the concealer. So the concealer will just make sure that this shade is gonna pop even extra because the light base underneath it um, makes it easier if that makes sense. So now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow that comes in the palette and I'm going in with a Sigma E75 brush which is a angled eyeliner brush which you can also use for the brows. So I'm going to use this to create a line above the lash line and after creating the line I'm also going to drag a line to create a wink liner. I kind of want it to look a little bit more smudgy today, so I like using eyeshadow because it's a lot more softer. Um, when I created this look, I just had no idea, like I said earlier, what I was going for. Like At first, I wanted to go in with a really dark black bold eyeliner, but since I was using this palette by Hindush, I felt like, let me just do a little bit more of a softer look, which I think is a really... Hindash his style. He always creates such gorgeous soft glam looks. So I felt like this smoke that eyeliner Just fits more in, in in his style if that makes sense So I'm really happy that I decided to go for this because I feel like this makes the eye look so much more prettier more soft and I don't know I really like a smoky wing liner So now I used a little bit of concealer and applied this underneath the wing liner to make the area underneath the wing liner a little bit more smooth and more sharp um so that's what I like to do. You can use a concealer brush. I used a tiny blending brush. Um, obviously, when you use a concealer brush, you got to work a little bit more precise. So I don't really know why I went in with this brush, to be honest, but it does the job. So it doesn't even matter. But so far, I really like how everything is looking. For the waterline, I'm going to take this pencil from Makeup by Mario um, in a dark brown shade. Um, I could have gone for a black pencil or 
something even lighter but i personally don't have very nice pencils that are cool toned and since i used a lot of cool tones for today's eye look i wanted to keep everything more cool and this was the coolest palette i could palette the coolest pencil i could find so maybe more of a grayish ashy pencil in a waterline would have been really pretty as well but you know brown pencil can also make everything a little bit less cool which is really nice as well i don't know why i'm talking so much but <laughs> i hope you get what i mean i just have more brown pencils i don't really have that much cool tone pencils in my collection so if you guys know a nice grayish pencil from a specific brand let me know in the comments so i used the same shades underneath the lower lash line as i used in my crease area and for the eyeliner and then i went in with a lash curler now after using the lash curler i'm going in with this mascara from gucci which is actually such a nice mascara i have been using it now a few times and I only used a very thin coat on the upper lashes because I'm going in with false lashes. So when I use false lashes, I don't like to use too much of um, mascara on the upper lashes. But look at my lower lashes. What I really like about this mascara, it makes them really long and separated. And for my fake lashes, I use lashes from the brand GGB in, I believe, the style Angelic, if I'm not mistaken. But I will make sure to put all the information in the description bar. And then this is the end of the video. Um, if you want to see the finished result of this bridal makeup look, I will post a picture on my Instagram. So in case you want to see how the finished result looks, um, I will link everything down in the description bar. So yeah, this is the finished video. Um, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye!